How did a civilization without cranes, trucks, or even iron tools build monuments so massive they've lasted over 4,000 years? The Egyptian pyramids are one of history's greatest mysteries, and today we're unlocking the ancient tech and clever engineering behind these timeless wonders. Let's travel back to ancient Egypt and find out how they really pulled it off. Stone Giants. What are the pyramids made of? The Great Pyramid of Giza is one of the most extraordinary architectural feats ever created. Weighing an estimated 6 million tons and consisting of more than 2.3 million blocks of stone. These blocks, each weighing between 2.5 to 80 tons, were carefully cut and placed with such precision that even modern engineers are in awe of the techniques they used. But here's the burning question. How did the ancient Egyptians cut, move, and precisely place these massive stones without modern machinery or advanced technology? The process began in quarries, which were often located miles away from the pyramid site. The primary material used for the majority of the structure was limestone, which was abundant in nearby quarries, while the granite used for the inner chambers came from the quarries in Aswan, located over 500 miles south. Imagine the sheer logistics required to transport this stone across such vast distances. The Egyptians were pioneers in large-scale material management. As for shaping the stones, they didn't have diamond saws or power tools. Instead, they relied on copper chisels, dollarite pounders, and other primitive yet effective tools. Workers used water to assist in cracking the stone, reducing friction and aiding in the cutting process. The precision with which the Egyptians shaped and placed each block speaks to their incredible understanding of both engineering and craftsmanship. The scale of this operation wasn't just about moving stone, it was about mastering logistics and employing ingenious methods that would lay the foundation for future architectural wonders. Now that we've explored the sheer scale and material of the pyramids, let's tackle the next big challenge. How did the Egyptians actually move those massive stones across the desert? The answer is a lot smarter than you might think the secret to moving massive stones. The task of moving massive stones, some weighing as much as 80 tons, across the desert was no small feat. For years, theories ranging from alien intervention to superhuman strength were suggested to explain how the Egyptians could have possibly moved these monumental blocks. But after decades of research and excavation, archaeologists have uncovered a much smarter and more practical solution. Water and sleds, ancient hieroglyphics and archaeological findings reveal that workers used wooden sleds to transport the heavy stone blocks across the sandy desert. But what made this technique so effective wasn't just the sleds themselves, it was the use of water. Workers would pour water over the sand in front of the sleds, reducing friction between the sled and the sand. This simple but ingenious trick made the sand compact, allowing the sleds to glide much more easily. The result? The effort required to move each block was cut almost in half turning an otherwise impossible task into one that could be managed with clever thinking and teamwork. This wasn't about brute strength. It was about engineering ingenuity and collaboration. In fact, this breakthrough highlights the importance of efficiency in ancient Egyptian construction. The Egyptians didn't rely on superhuman power. They focused on smart, well-planned methods that combined brain power with the skills of skilled laborers. This collaborative approach is one of the keys to how they accomplished such remarkable feats of engineering. So, we've uncovered the secret to moving these colossal stones, but precision is the name of the game in pyramid construction. Let's take a closer look at how the Egyptians achieved such incredible accuracy in their work without any modern tools or technology. Building with Precision The Pyramid Blueprint 
The precision of the pyramids continues to baffle engineers and architects to this day. The Great Pyramid of Giza is aligned almost perfectly with True North, a feat so exact that modern technology can't even match it. But here's the kicker. There were no GPS systems involved, no satellites, just the night sky. The ancient Egyptians used the stars, particularly the North Star and Orion's Belt, as their guide to achieve this astronomical alignment. Their knowledge of the heavens wasn't just for navigation, it was an essential tool for creating monuments that would stand the test of time. But the precision didn't stop with the alignment. Ramps were believed to be the core method used to construct the pyramid. Archaeologists believe that the Egyptians used a variety of ramp systems, straight ramps, zigzag ramps, and even spiral ramps that wound around the pyramid as it grew taller. This allowed workers to transport massive stone blocks up to greater heights as the pyramid's construction progressed. As the pyramid rose, so did the ramps. These ingenious ramps were extended and raised to ensure that stones could be carried to the upper levels, step by step, creating a process that was efficient and adaptable. Before we dive into the final mind-blowing piece of ancient Egyptian tech, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss another fascinating story where history meets technology. Beyond the Pyramids, Egypt's Engineering Genius The Egyptians didn't stop with the pyramids. Their legacy extends far beyond these monumental tombs, stretching across entire cities, temples, and irrigation systems. What truly sets them apart was their innovative approach to construction and design, and their ability to work with nature rather than against it. One of their key advancements was in surveying. The Egyptians used simple yet effective tools like plumb bobs, levels, and measuring ropes to ensure precise measurements for everything from the construction of their grand temples to the layout of cities. These tools allowed them to create perfect right angles, straight lines, and even measure the height of towering structures like obelisks. The Nile River, which flooded predictably each year, played a pivotal role in Egypt's engineering successes. The floods brought rich soil for agriculture, but they also helped Egyptians develop early calendars and engineering schedules, allowing them to plan their work around the river's cycles. This enabled them to build irrigation systems that supported a thriving economy and population. From towering obelisks that stretched into the sky to underground tombs filled with treasures, Egypt's mastery of stone cutting, geometry, and labor organization created a blueprint that would inspire future civilizations. Their technology wasn't about gadgets or machinery. It was about deep understanding, creativity, and skill. And that's what made their legacy last millennia. Ancient Tech, Modern Lessons So, how did the Egyptians build the pyramids? Not with aliens or supernatural forces, but with teamwork, clever tools, smart physics, and precise planning. The real magic behind the pyramids lies not in mysticism, but in the incredible human innovation that made it all possible. Today, the legacy of Egyptian engineering still amazes architects, historians, and scientists. Their ability to design and construct such monumental structures without modern technology is nothing short of extraordinary. What's even more impressive is the fact that their approach to problem solving continues to inspire modern projects. Whether it's the precision in measurement or the ingenious use of simple tools to manipulate massive stones, ancient Egypt's engineers have shown us how resourcefulness and ingenuity can overcome even the most daunting challenges. The real lesson we can take from the Egyptians is that technology isn't just about having the latest gadget or the newest invention. It's about using the knowledge, creativity, and collaboration available to you to turn impossible dreams into reality. Their work is a reminder that the power of human ingenuity is often far greater than we realize, and sometimes the simplest solutions lead to the most monumental achievements. And that's how the ancient Egyptians built wonders that defy time. If you enjoyed this journey back into history, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on more stories about the tech that shaped our world. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.